If you know dive watches, there's absolutely no doubt that you know about Doxa. As the creators of some of the most iconic dive watches ever made, this brand has built a name for itself over many, many years. More than a century later, their watches are still recognized for their history and reputation as affordable, reliable, and functional. They even co-created a dive watch with Rolex. Now the brand is thriving after the release of a very exciting special edition watch, something that will probably trigger nostalgic memories for a lot of folks watching this. So if you want to know more about Doxa's rich history, its collaboration with Rolex, and its new special release, then keep watching this video because this is something you don't want to miss. Originally founded in 1889 by Georges Docomum, Doxa was very different from what we know of it today. Georges was a hardworking individual from a humble household in Jura, Switzerland, the heart of the watchmaking industry. He didn't have much except for his passion and a vision for the perfect watch. Throughout his apprenticeship with experts back in 1880, Georges had built a reputation for his outstanding work ethic, sometimes going as far as walking 20 kilometers just to deliver a watch. At the ripe young age of 21, Georges decided to build a business from the ground up that was originally called Georges Docomum Fabriques Doxa. After years of hard work, Georges finally got the recognition he deserved when his pocket watch was showcased at the World's Fair in Liège, Belgium. He eventually received a gold medal the next year at the World's Fair in Milan, Italy, for his indigenous anti-magnetic Doxa, which is the Greek word for glory. In 1907, Georges patented the 8-day Doxa Calibre that became the standard equipment on Bugatti racing cars. You heard that right. Doxa was indeed the company that powered Bugatti's timekeeping abilities for years, and other automotive brands, along with ships and aeroplanes, followed suit soon afterwards. With such a mighty reputation attached to their brand, Georges eventually passed away in 1936. His son-in-law, Jacques Nardin, took the company into his own hands and set on his own journey. In 1957, Doxa introduced a series of graphic dress watches, but these eventually became irrelevant compared to the professional sub-diver watches that were introduced a decade later. Developed with the help of diving legend Jacques Cousteau, the sub-watches became the hallmark watch of Doxa. The sub-watch was a purpose-built watch that stood out with its orange dial, cushion-shaped case, a rice bead bracelet, and an adjustable bracelet. This watch was, in a word, revolutionary and changed the game for dive watches for years to come. In 1969, the company was the first to release a dive watch with a helium release valve with the introduction of the Sub 300T Conquistador. An exceptionally unique watch in its own right, the Sub 300T Conquistador was the watch for divers. Co-manufactured with Rolex, who had only built helium release valves in prototype pieces at the time, the Conquistador became a legend for its ability to operate down to 1,200 meters underwater. Besides the innovative helium escape valve, what set this watch apart from all other dive watches at the time was a unidirectional rotating bezel for no compression dive times and a bright orange dial that had been chosen after a series of tests to find the color that would provide the best legibility. Because of all these clever little details, an affordable price tag, undeniable high quality and stellar design, the Conquistador quickly gained traction with all professional divers. Of course, the fact that the watch was personally endorsed by Jacques Cousteau never hurt. The professional French diver was often seen wearing Doxa watches on his missions, and while he was out and about, Cousteau was such an avid fan that he eventually signed a deal with Doxa to become the sole distributor of their watches in North America. Surprisingly though, Cousteau can't claim sole responsibility for the popularity of Doxa. Only one person could be said to have made Doxa so popular, and he isn't even real. For those of you who know about Clive Cussler, the world-famous shipwreck explorer and novelist, and Dirk Pitt, the fictional protagonist of Cussler's novels, know that Cussler and Dirk wore a Doxa Sub 300T on their wrist during their many adventures. Clive's novels are a benchmark in the world of literature, and Doxa was mentioned numerous times in many of his novels, starring the deep-sea adventurer. Soon, fans of the series rush to stores to buy their own Doxas, and the rest is history. Obviously, Doxa knows the influence of Dirk's character in marketing their brand, which is why they released a special edition Sub 300T as a tribute to the late novelist and the heroic Dirk Pitt. If you like watches with a distinctive look, you're going to love the Clive Cussler 300T. Of course, the watch comes with the standard features of a 300T. With a 42.5mm wide, 14mm thick, and 44.5mm lug-to-lug measurement, this timepiece may seem too bulky when seen on paper, 
but can actually fit really well on most wrists because of its unique cushion-like shape and overall structure. Furthermore, the watch comes with an automatic caliber ETA 2824 2 with a power reserve of 38 hours and a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Though this movement may not be a specially designed in house component, it has proven to be accurate with an error of only a second, which is super impressive. The Clive Cussler 300T comes packaged in a special box that almost looks like a book on the outside. Once it's opened, the package first reveals a warranty card, a beige NATO strap, and a note signed by the CEO of Doxa, Jan Edox, and Clive's son, Dirk Kussler. Once the note is flipped over, it reveals a timepiece in a dedicated compartment. The watch has a distinct look thanks to the application of a PVD treatment that is stonewashed to make it look like aged steel, almost as if it has gone through many adventures exploring shipwrecks in the deepest parts of the ocean. The dial has a faux aged tan color, with a vintage compass rose-inspired design instead of the signature bright orange coloring seen on the standard 300T. On the case back are engravings of the names of all 72 of the shipwrecks and artifacts discovered by Numa, a non-profit founded by Clive that works to explore shipwrecks. The hands and markers of the watch match the standard 300T and glows in the dark, of course. As a little nod to Clive Cussler, the numbers 7, 15, and 31 are marked in red on the date window, since that is when the novelist was born. Though the watch comes with an aged steel rice bead bracelet and a NATO strap, it has an optional rubber strap option as well. The standard package retails for $2,690 and the rubber strap comes at a hefty $450 extra. With Doxa's status as one of the primary innovators of dive watches, a rich history that has crossed two centuries, and a reputation as the best of the best, Doxa has certainly kept itself relevant throughout these years. Though they still rely on their sub-dive watches to keep their company afloat, it's fitting to use the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it in this scenario. Many may believe that Doxa was finally reaching its end of cultural relevance with the passing of time, but with Doxa's consistent delivery of reliable timepieces, and now a special edition watch that honors one of the best-selling novels to ever hit bookshelves, it seems Doxa doesn't necessarily have much to worry about. Surely the release of this watch is probably going to encourage some people to explore the Dirk Pitt novels and could bring a potential comeback for the character in modern pop culture. Regardless, it's a delight to see Doxa acknowledge the relevance of Clive Cussler three years after his passing. A revolutionary author pairing up with a revolutionary watch brand is a great moment in the history of horology. Modern day watch collectors are undoubtedly super lucky to witness this before their very eyes. With the release of the Clive Cussler Sub 300T, Doxa has brought itself back into the limelight and has the world waiting to see what they come up with next. Perhaps a completely new design, or maybe some better upgrades for the classic sub-watches. They could even bring back the original graphic dress watches with redesigns suited for the modern world. Most watch collectors would absolutely jump at the chance to buy something like a commemorative graphic watch since it was the first of many watches that made Doxa what it is today. Doxa has a lot going for it, and it's safe to say that they're making a resurgence in the watch industry. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.